Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our next Sammy Davis Jr. film tonight is a crime caper comedy from United Artists in 1968 called Salt and Pepper. It's filmed the team Sammy with his good friend Peter Lawford, both as co-stars and as co-producers of the film. It tells the story of two nightclub owners in London of the swinging 60s, one of them named Charles Salt, that's Sammy, the other named Christopher Pepper, that's Peter Lawford. And what stirs the pot is these two fellows becoming implicated in a murder at their club, which leads to their being caught up in a whole world of cloaks and daggers and spies. Meanwhile, the boys also uncover a sinister plan to overthrow the government. But by that time, you kind of realize this plot is far less important than the seemingly endless stream of gags and slapstick that the movie provides. This is one of the many films of that period which was designed to cash in on the massive popularity of the James Bond spy spoofs. Just as James Coburn's Our Man Flint series did, and Dean Martin's several films in which he played a James Bond type known as Agent Matt Helm. When Sammy Davis and Peter Lawford made this film, they'd already been buddies for many, many years, having first worked together eight years earlier on Frank Sinatra's caper comedy Ocean's Eleven, and also spending a great deal of time hitting the Vegas clubs together. Sammy Davis, of course, was one of the giants in the nightclub world, but he never quite achieved the top status he wished as a film star. But he kept working in films while also doing Broadway, television, Vegas, and keeping up as a recording star. And I have to say, the same year this film was released, Davis had a hit single, I Gotta Be Me, which reached number 11 on the Billboard charts. Here from 1968, directed by Richard Donner, Sammy Davis Jr. and Peter Lawford in Salt and Pepper.